Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is web content filtering in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Well, web content filtering is a part of web protection capabilities in uh, DFE, Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Web content filtering enables your organization to track and regulate access to websites based on their content categories. Many of these websites, even if they are not malicious, might be problematic because of compliance regulations, bandwidth usage or other concerns. I'll just quickly log on to the portal and then we'll take it from there. All right, I am at security.microsoft.com and if you would go under settings, okay, and then you will go to endpoints under general you have advanced features you have to scroll down until you see web content filtering okay it says block access to websites containing unwanted content and track web activity across all domains to specify the web content categories you want to block create a web content filtering policy ensure you have network protection and block mode when deploying the microsoft defender for endpoint security baseline so if you would see when you clicked on that it will take you to the place wherein you can configure a web content filtering policy it's also on the same page obviously and if, when you will turn it on and you click on save preferences it will save it now policies can policies can be deployed to block any of the uh, categories right you want to block uh, adult content baits on uh, the gambling nudity pornography sex education violence and then you want to block high, you high bandwidth usage sites which are download sites image sharing or peer-to-peer -peer network sites legal liability sites uh, leisure uncategorized items as well right so i don't have a i don't have permissions because this is a dev tenant that's why i don't have an option to click on it so when you are under endpoint you click on web filtering uh, policy here under rules you will have an option where you can create policies as well nothing much that you have to specify a name select the categories you want to block uh, specify the policy scope uh, if you want to target it to a specific device groups uh, so that you can confine where the policy is getting applied okay only devices and the selected device groups will be prevented from accessing websites and then you can review the summary and save the policy now, when you talk about end user experience in this, the blocking experience for third party supported browser is provided by network protection, which provides a system level message notifying the user of a blocked connection. It would give a message to the user that this content is blocked by your organization. And then if you want to allow specific websites, then you will come under settings general endpoints general and you go to indicators here you click on url and domains and they enter the domain of the site select the policy to allow okay so you add an item here the url or the domain address description oh, I would say just next you want to allow it you just click on next and then the scope will be defined okay and if and if you land up in a situation wherein you encounter a domain that has been incorrectly categorized you can dispute the category directive from the Microsoft Defender portal you can uh, navigate to reports 
and then under reports you go to web protection web content filtering categories details domains and then you can on the domain tab of the web filtering cat web content filtering reports as well and if you want to <clears throat> actually know the benefits of web content filtering well users are prevented from accessing websites in block categories whether they are browsing on premises or away and security team can access web reports in the same central location with visibility over actual blocks and web usage and if you are using defender for endpoint your security team can conveniently deploy policies to group of users using device groups defined in microsoft defender for endpoint role based access control settings and if you are using defender for business you can define one web content filtering policy that is applied to all the users and there are some prerequisites your subscription must include one of the following plans like windows microsoft 365 e5 or a5 e5 security or e3 defender for endpoint plan 1 or plan 2 defender for business or 365 business premium you should have access to the defender portal you should have at least windows 11 windows 10 anniversary update or later operating system it can be applied to mac os and linux as well but you have to see network protection for feature for network protection feature for mac os and linux and your devices must be running one of the following browsers edge chrome mozilla brave opera internet explorer and uh, windows defender smart screen and network protection must be enabled on your organization devices so i believe this was uh, informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please mention them in the comment section and i will see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day